moment you've all been waiting for. Actor, comedian, friend of the show, Kevin Hart is here. Oh, look at this with a special birthday gift just for Stephen A. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. A Tebow jersey. Tebow jersey. That was so thoughtful. I got you a Why? Why, man? Why you do this, man? Because that's your friend. For what? Because that's your friend. No, why you do this, man? No, you don't. Friend. You always say he's your you friend. say that's your friend. I came bearing gifts. You gonna throw my gift back in my face when I thought about you on your big day? Take the jersey and the hat. And wear it the rest of the show. Your, Watch your voice. That's your friend. Watch your tone, man. Oh, it's about Watch your to tone. go down. It's about to go down. <laughs> I use your cup. Make sure you catch First Take in primetime on ESPN Tuesday night for our NBA tip-off preview. We'll look ahead to the upcoming season and the half-hour special with the surprise guest. So tune in 9.30 p.m. Eastern this upcoming Tuesday. And remember, we are on ESPN. Our next guest is one of the funniest guys in the business. His True. new movie, Kevin Hart, What Now? in theaters today. We welcome the multi-talented, one of the hardest-working guys in the business, yes. Kevin Hart, back to the it. show. I love it. I love the introduction. Thank you so much yes. for being here. That's for you. Liked it? I like that. Thank That's for you. you. I like this. Yeah. You got him a Tebow jersey for Happy his birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. It was so thoughtful and creative. I, I brought you guys gifts for his birthday, too. Oh, thank uh, you. Yeah, I got you guys some cool stuff. You guys know I own headphones, so that's for you oh. guys. Oh, this oh. is amazing. Yeah, I got Real. Yeah, I love it. You guys. Look music, at this. White? Music headphones. Loving this. this. this awesome. I love Thank this. You. It's a smart headphone. And I travel so much, so these will be yeah. great for me. It's like Perfect. the smartest headphone that you can get Thank right you, brother. Now. Appreciate awesome. it. Uh, that's Thank for you. you guys on his birthday. Yes. So Thank this you. is uh, the way I did that. What? This. You brought them headphones, and you brought me a damn Tebow jersey? You said that Tim you Tebow is your friend. <laughs> did you not say that? <laughs> That's what you said. I'm, I'm going by what you he's said. He's a wonderful human being. He's, he's my a, friend. He's my friend. <laughs> he's my friend. I don't do it like that. I say, he's my friend. No. That's what I say. That's Word. what I say. Word of the day, bloviate. <laughs> bloviate. You know what bloviate is? Mm -hmm. What Steve Smith does on a consistent basis. Why you, are you disrespecting you me? You just yap. Why are you, why you disrespecting me? You man? constantly yap, and I'm sick of it. So? I'm, so this is your cupcake. You I'm sick of it. Oh! oh. oh. I'm sick of you yapping. I'm sick of it. It's violation. I know why. I know why. I know why. Talk to me. Because you know, you know, you got the MVP, you know, for four the times. Celebrity All Star Game, four times. Four times. One of those games, you scored two points, got the league MVP, the, the, the game MVP. Do you understand what the definition of MVP is? Most Steve valuable Mason? player? Most valuable most player. Most valuable you know player. What, what made valuable? you valuable? What made Bro, you valuable? Let's, let's go break down what Kevin Hart does. I'm listening. I inspire. I motivate. <laughs> I make people better. With that being the case, that's what I did on the basketball court that day. That's why I was the most valuable player. It's not about putting the ball in the basket. And if you knew anything about the game, then you would know that. Word of the day is bloviate. He does sound just like you. That's what you sound like. No, nah, you do not. Listen, man, you've been on the show several times. You've gotten beat down on several occasions. Uh, we I've never lost. That's a lie. I've never listen, lost. Listen, that's one of the things we... <laughs> yeah, my word of the day, fabricate. fabricate. How about how about that one? Bloviate is a lot better. Well, you say bloviate, where, where you get it from? Because you didn't know about it until I said it. First of all, so, so, you know you... where I got it from? Where? One of the words that you pull out your behind because oh! you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's what you do, man. Okay. okay. So, Let's get so, into so it. So what is it that I don't know what I'm talking about? Because we're about to talk about yeah. several subjects. So talk uh, about feel it. Free. Let's do it. Feel free. Let's go. Talk about Let's it. Go. Let's go. You can tell me. Mind your manners, man. Anything. Mind your manners. Here's what you need to Mind understand. Mind your manners, You're dealing with an almanac, <laughs> okay? You're dealing with a man that made history. Do you understand who you're talking to right now? You are talking to Kevin Darnell Hart, a.k.a. the man that sold out the Lincoln Financial Football Stadium. Oh, let's start right a.k.a. Now. a record breaker. Let's start right now. You did. Yeah, I and did. And by the way, the Garden, too, in New York City. Yes, I did. As well as various other places, because you were absolutely sensational. But you know why, right? Why? Because you're hilarious. You're hysterical. You're, the, you. you're, you're, you're arguably the funniest man in America. But here's the thing. That means we get to laugh at you right now. No, no, no. You no, see what I'm saying? Yes, 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 yes. We get, get to laugh. Yes, we're laughing don't, right don't now. Don't try to flip this I am flipping it. Me. I am flipping don't it. Don't compliment me. I'm, I'm flipping it because you're, we're going to be able to laugh at the things that come out of your mouth yet again. You happy now? You happy? Can you laugh at this? I made history. History. Where's my camera? History. Get it. Zoom in. Zoom. Where am I? Here. <laughs> Zoom in when I say this. I made history. Are you in? 
I have no comment. Zoom out. <laughs> I say that to say, I don't do things halfway, Stephen A. Smith. When Kevin Hart comes here, I come here for war. You know why? Because I'm sick and tired of listening to what you say on TV. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Well, you don't see neither am I. All right. And if you right. if you really make me mad, I'll come here on a permanent basis. No, you won't. I'll show up every day. No, you won't. You I'll show crazy. up here every day and I'll talk basketball no, no, no. and I'll talk football and I'll talk baseball. You won't do it. Because I could have done all of those things. No, you could have. I could have no, done every last one no, of those things. No, you could have. The Sixers you called me right now for a 10 day the contract. Sixers? The Sixers? Yes. What, to be the water boy? As soon as Ben went down, who you think got the call? Kevin, Listen. are you available? No, I'm not. Because I'm busy making history. What now? Zoom in. Zoom out. That's called camera work, Stephen A. Smith. You know nothing about that. All you do is sit here and eat your little cupcakes, and I'm sick of it. Ugh. Cupcake number two, ruin. What now? Zoom in. <laughs> Zoom out. <laughs> this is called TV at its best, Max. I can see that. I Let's know what I'm doing. I come here and I take over. Everybody can't do All right, do let's that. do it. Let's blow V8. Let's go. You ready? Let's we got go. the Have you been emboldened by the source? fact that I beat let's him in go. every debate? Does that make you feel more confident since I've been here beating I think you do him? very well. Yeah. I think you do very well. To, so we lying to people now. I'm not That's lying. what we're doing? I said I think that man does very well. Yeah, you okay. said it. I'm a fan of the show. I, can, I have an opinion. You're not going to tell me what I should and shouldn't think. I've seen you guys debate. I like where Max goes. Max not afraid of you. See, that was Skip's problem. Skip would get afraid, and he would start to hunch his shoulders real weird. And then his, his stance would just get unconfident, and then he would slouch. You beat him down. Max ain't standing for that. You're not gonna beat Max down. You're a bully with a capital B. You come here and you bully people with words that we don't understand. Half that stuff ain't even in a dictionary. Excuse me. <laughs> that would be him. You got to. That you, would be him. You that would be him. That's hey, not me. Listen, I've got nothing on him. You're looking at a player that glossizes. What? <laughs> what did you say? That would be him. He, he that would be him. He glossizes and, and that makes him a traumatic disastication. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay? I hear you. Pretty sure you did say Golosticize at one point. He I never know what it meant. Never did it. Never up did. here, naming dinosaurs. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's you go. mentioned Lincoln Financial. You yes. sold it out. You're from Philly. Yes. You're Eagles. Yes. They're the best in the NFC East. Right now, I will arguably say yes. Even right after now. losing to the Lions? Well, listen, you're going to have a loss, and I would rather come there. We didn't have a loss in the NFC yet, which makes me still say we're the best in the NFC. The NFC goes down to what? The end. The NFC becomes one of the most competitive. Uh, I guess you could say conferences within the NFL simply because it's always coming down to the wire. None of these teams really outplay each other until the end, and it comes in a game of matchups. So well, we where were you Redskins, last year? Where were you last year when the Eagles stunk? Oh, I'm where sorry. Where were you? I couldn't find you. I was that's looking for you. I couldn't find you. Oh, I couldn't right. find you anyway. You're too busy. That's but, right. but, but now they got a little, little they win in a few games, and here you are. That's right, because you speak you about year? the Knicks. Where were you last year? Because you talk about the Knicks. Oh. Because I hear you talk about the Knicks all the time. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You don't talk about the have Knicks. Have I not talked about Melo and the Knicks? I think I have. No, now because the season hasn't started. Last year, <laughs> did you talk about the Knicks? Yes, I was very disgusted with Phil Jackson, who I think was doing a horrible job. Yeah, but did you talk about him as a fan? So when you say, where was I, who speaks up on the team's behalf when your team is losing? There's nothing to talk about. So as a sports fan, if you got nothing to say, you don't say it at all. Right now, guess what? My birds are flying. Oh, oh, oh. That's what we doing. Soaring. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to talk. I bleed, Philadelphia. Man is giving you the business on your birthday, Stephen A. Smith. You know what? He Another cupcake. Ruin. He, 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 he bleeds Ruin. Philadelphia. Couldn't find him last year. Couldn't find him. You didn't couldn't find didn't me? Even, didn't even want to acknowledge you him. You want to know where I was? Making history at the Lincoln Financial Football <laughs> Stadium. What now? Zoom in. <laughs> Zoom out. That's called camera work. Go ahead, y'all. You got nothing to say to me. Nothing. nothing to say. I have to nothing me. to say. Go ahead. What's Go your ahead. favorite sport, brother? Is it basketball? My favorite sport is probably basketball. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, that's what my passion is. I played four years of varsity basketball. Uh, I started uh, my 10th through 12th. Um, honorable mention, several years, all public towards the end. Name of the school? Uh, George Washington High School. Uh, until this day, you can walk in that school. There is a case to my honoring. Uh, my you're, sneakers you're fully, are still in there. You're fully aware of the fact that we have a researcher that can check this. Right? Go check. It. My sneakers are in that case. Uh, my uniform and it's ripped because that game, I went up for the winning basket and I was I was pulled down on this side and they ripped my jersey, but I still made the layup. The biggest basket in school history. You can go Google that. Uh, Google Kevin Hart biggest basket school history ripped jersey and the picture of me will pop up. Um, Sabino. Yeah, yeah. Get on it. Uh, that's the one thing there. Um, also, I led the public league in assists. I averaged four assists my senior year. It was the most by any point guard under 5'5". That's a fact. 
Um, and what else? Oh, one game I played left-handed because I hurt my hand in Woodshop. And the coach was like, you can't do it. Woodshop like, at George Washington High School? Yeah, Woodshop. I'm, I'm an amazing Woodshop student, okay? We were building. I hurt my hand. Nail went through the center of my hand. Mm. I didn't quit. I said, tape it up. I played left-handed. I got. What were you two. studying? What were you trying to learn? To be a carpenter or something? First of all, I was not trying. I am. Right. I'll build, build the birdhouse, put it in here right now, and you guys will be amazed. <laughs> You'll be amazed. <laughs> I build a seven home bird house right now. I can't take him anymore. Okay. I can't take him anymore. We're going to take, take, take a quick break. Fine, take I'm taking off this ugly break. jersey. Take a break. That's no, your birthday on. gift. Right. You took off your necklace. You took off that. You got rid of my balloon. You know balloon. what? Another Come cupcake. No. Ruin. Every time you do this, More first cupcake. take with Kevin Hart. Ruin. Stay here. We'll be back in a minute. No cupcakes. Oh. What now? I am your same boat, the fastest man in the world. And people of Jamaica love and watch first take. Breaking news, and I chose to do it here, despite your choice of bad suits. Do you know how upset it makes me to hear you guys go back and You know what I know? What do you know? I know that an MVP is somebody that doesn't score five points oh, in the game. Oh, I know oh, that much. Oh, that's fine. I know that much. I chose to do comedy and act. I could have went the basketball route. I know basketball, Steve. First take has became a home for me. You know why? Not only do we come here and talk sports and what's going on in that whole athletic, athletic arena that we follow, but guys, you allow me to come here and be myself. Mm -hmm. Back here on First Take, Steve Nay's birthday, Kevin Hart in the house. Kevin, I need to talk to you. Let's talk. Do you know what I deal with every day with these egos trying to get a word in? Sounds like a lot. It's a lot. Sounds it's, like it's stressful. Mm. And you have to try not to miff anybody and, you know, get to break, things like fair. that, get commercials in. It's not fair to you. Yeah, I need to take a break from it. You know what? Take I have over. No problem it, it, with it's taking just, over. it's been a lot. I have no it's problem with taking over. Stephen A. especially, yeah. a lot to deal with. Yeah. I want to be nice because it's his birthday, yeah. but... Mm -hmm. your, your chair's a little higher than what I'm used to, but I'll get sure it. Sure, you can get up there, you need help. Fine. Hey, <laughs> you're good? Fine. Oh, fine. I just chairs are just... I was just looking out. I was just looking out. These chairs are just... I was just looking out. Excuse me, Steve. I'm taking over. Okay, yeah. you're not gonna do to me what you do to her. Exactly. I'm gonna get some pointers. Okay, I'm gonna show you Come how back to run stronger. the show. All Thank right. Thank you. Yes. Let's now, do this. this is your this is your info here. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. First of all, let me <clears throat> do what you would do. Yeah. A few weeks ago, Usain Bolt was on the show and had some kind words for you, Kevin. Uh, pause for sound. <laughs> Am I, I'm not what to kind of an inspiration was Kevin Hart to you? I started following him on on Snapchat, and then I noticed that he works out every day. Like, there's no day that he doesn't work out, you know what I mean? So, for me, he helped to motivate me because a lot of the mornings I get up, I'm like, oh. When I, when I go on Snapchat and I see him and he's like, yo, no matter what, I'm up. I didn't want to get up this morning, but I'm up. So, for me, that, that helps me, you know? I'm and this comedian and actor, from his workout regimen, helps you avoid the curse of the gifted. Yeah. Listen, he works hard. I have to give him that much. He's, he's dedicated to always working out. You know what I mean? He always said, he's, his new mother, he said he, he's got to get the mother out there. I go to work before I go to work. Mm, mm, mm. Question, do you guys have a problem with you saying his comments? I do. I'm trying to figure out what... I want you to lower your voice. <laughs> lower your voice. <laughs> You're not talking to her. You're going to give me the respect that I deserve. <laughs> Don't talk to me like I'm a man. Go ahead. I have a problem with what he said. I'm trying to figure out how in God's name... I'm done with you, Steve. Max. Well, clearly, there was some glossification mm. going on with Usain Bolt for him mm -hmm. to make those kind of comments. Mm -hmm. And uh, he uh, aggrandized mm. the entire problem. I'm with, following you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, with his references to you, yeah. who, while you're very athletic for an actor, mm -hmm. for a comedian... I'm going to stop you right there. I'm done. Mm. I'm done. You want to know what I'm seeing? You want to know what I'm smelling? Mm. Jealousy. Mm. Jealousy. I'm sorry that my body is perfect. What do you want me to do? I'm sorry that I'm in the most amazing shape that I can possibly be in. I'm sorry that I don't sit down and my underwear is flip over, that little band flip over like it does you guys. Is that why you wore a onesie to the set today? This is called a sweatsuit. Oh, oh. It's called an athletic sweatsuit. I wasn't sure. Because you guys got snap-off suits on that you can grab from the back and do what you want with. You mad at me? <laughs> I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I am jealous of you. I am jealous of you. Um, you're rich. You're making movies every day. But that's not the reason why. Mm. You're living in California in the sunshine. Mm. And 
because you're living out there. One of many stars, you know. You get to walk down the street and people are like, oh, that's Kevin. Hey, what's up? Mm. While me, I'm bombarded. I'm mm. suffocated. You understand what I'm mm. saying? I have no peace of mind. Mm. People might walk up to you occasionally and they might want to just take a picture with you and mm -hmm. say, congratulations, great work. Mm -hmm. With me, they want to debate. Mm. My life is harder. Well, Stephen, here's what I want you to realize. A, you're lying. Nobody comes up to you. Okay? Stephen A. Smith does not have one fan. <laughs> not one. There's never been a request for a picture. There's never been a request for a debate. You are snap, you're, you're snap finger famous. That's the guy, that's the, what's the guy that's on the, uh, what's the, what's the guy that's, uh, what's that, what's the guy that's on the thing, uh, they're on the ESPN thing. That's what they do. They, they that, rev it up. That's actually me. They that's, know his name. That's what they do. Okay? I know you'd like to believe that. No, 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 no. I want you to understand something. I'm a big deal. But you know what I welcome? I welcome fans. I welcome engagement. You know why? Because that may make that person's day. So for you to sit here and tell me that it's hard that people want to come up here and support your craft, it makes me sick. It makes me sick to my stomach. Sick to my stomach. Also has better reflexes than you. He does. Stuff. He does. He does. Kevin Hart, let's talk to you for a second. Suit. Let's talk to you, Kevin. Kevin, you got a new movie coming out called What Now? You want to talk about it? Well, it's funny you asked me, Kev. Uh, <laughs> listen, man, this is my best work to date. I love this movie. My move. best work to date. I'm so happy about this movie. Uh, I made history, and I'm just trying to remake history again. I'm just trying to put my imprint in this generation for me as a stand-up comic, man. So, you know, when you ask that question, it just makes me smile because I'm bringing joy to people's lives. At the end of the day, I love to live, I love to love, and I love to laugh. It's the three L's, man. So when you ask me that, it's just uh, it's mind blowing. I just ask that everybody go support my movie because it's good. It's funny. Uh, the people have spoken, and that's what the people want. Kevin, I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, Kevin's new movie, Kevin Hart, What Now, is actually in theaters. It's in theaters today. So why don't you guys do him a favor? Go out and support that man. Kevin, any last words? I just want to say that I love coming here. Um, you know, when I come here, you guys are really, really cool about me doing my thing. And it may be because I'm better than you at your jobs. I don't know, okay? The fact that I'm a, a walking almanac. <laughs> the fact that I don't wake up. I ask for respect. Don't point at me. I ask for respect. I think I you know what an almanac means. Yeah, I'm oh, sure about that. Oh, my name is Matt, and I got on a suit with a nice tie, so I'm gonna <laughs> say something like this. Mm. Almanac, I think you mean an encyclopedia. Mm. I'm Mac, and I know words. Mm. Like elasticize. Mm. I'm sick of it. The both of you. You're going to get this woman the respect that she deserves from now on, else I will come back. That was the genius Since move, though. You I, just I, come I, to I, yourself. I, I, you tee up yourself. I, must, I, I do you need killed it. You shut I do it down. Need a favor. to be a genius. Before yeah. you get out of here, I do need to ask you a question because, you know, you are a basketball fan. Mm -hmm. Basketball. Um, you, you're not a basketball player. You're a basketball fan. This is ridiculous. But I have to ask you a question. I want to know how you're feeling about this NBA season since Kevin Durant has decided to go to Golden State. What are your thoughts? I think, I think we have to respect the business that goes along with the NBA and understand uh, a person's decision. When you have a choice, you have a no choice. No one really cares about your sports opinion. You're <laughs> supposed to do something funny. No, I'm going to give He's a real opinion. Up. No, this is a real opinion, OK? He's my friend, and I'm going to give my real opinion on it. You want to see how I know basketball? I'm going to tell you how I know basketball. That man is looking for a championship. That man is willing to get it any way, shape, form. That's what he wants. He wants that in his career. We don't know how long that man plans on playing. He may be close to being done. He may want to get it now. Whatever his reason is, is justified to him. I support that. I back that. Russell Westbrook is also my friend. So Russell Westbrook, being the competitive <clears throat> person he is, and I don't know nobody that has that same hunger and that same anger that that man possesses on the basketball court, this did nothing but fuel the fire for him to be even more competitive and even more great at what he does. So you use it, and on the court, you do what you do best. You play ball. One should have nothing to do with the other. At the end of the day, it's a business. You make decisions that are best for you. You're telling jokes in the movie, though, right? I just laid down facts. And you know what I say after that? What now? Kevin, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate I it I destroyed so much. this show today. Yeah, you did. You did. Somebody show can put me, me out. Shut it down. Put me out. Yourself. Thank you, thank you. More it. first take after the break. Stay Come on, here. Kevin. I'm on, on your fire. first day. I'm on fire. Put me out. Somebody wow. bring a fire extinguisher out here. <laughs> <laughs>